19, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We're going to come all the way down to the side. Other side. Tapping 20. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We're going to do a quick stretch for the legs.
Keep on going.
for seven seconds in. Get down, explode, explode. Squeeze your arms back. You're pretending like you're long jumping. Getting out as far as you can. Almost there. 15 more seconds. I know these are tough. Hang in there. Let's do five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Nice. We're on to our switches. For snowboard, just come here and switch, switch, switch. One minute of switches. Twist, twist. Oh, <laughs> 
slow it up.
and bring the knee up. 30 seconds on this leg. You're working right here. Cross behind, get low, and bring the knee up. Back and up. Cross behind. Cross behind. Cross behind. Cross behind. Five more seconds on this leg. All right, let's switch sides. Cross back and up. Back and up. We're almost done with the workout. We've got one more exercise. Then we're going to go through this group of four. One more time. Keep on going. you got ten more seconds. And then we'll talk about the importance of warming up. Do one more on this leg. Cross. And good.
and do your warm up because you gotta get your body into gear. It's like you don't want to shock your body into anything. You need to give it some time to get ready, and you'll perform better um, by taking those few minutes to do the warm up. You could probably end up going 35 minutes. Like if you were, let's just say you were gonna jog for 30 minutes, and you do, you do your warm up, you can probably jog longer because your muscles are gonna be like, oh, you know, they they weren't shocked, they weren't shocked, and uh, they weren't shocked into the exercise. They were prepared for it and warmed up properly, so they can they can um, they can make it longer. They can make it longer than if you were to just put all that force on your muscles right away. Um, there, there will be less muscle fatigue by warming up. Um, if you start off strong and you're just going to do 50 squats with 100 pound weights and you don't do any kind of warm up at all, that's not good for your body and you probably won't be able to get through all 50 of them. Whereas if you took the time and just do a couple of squats without weights, to warm up, you could probably do 50 or 60 of those weighted squats that you wanted to do um, because your your muscles are, are not going to be, they're going to be more alert and more awake and more ready to perform. Um, so again, like practice makes perfect. Warming up is like practice. Just like, you know, you warm up your car so that it, so that it drives properly and goes the distance. You want to do the same thing with your body. You want to treat your body well. Give it a, give it time to warm up. Uh, don't just go and, and bang at it. Uh, you need to awaken your body, get the blood flowing, um, and loosen the muscles and loosen the joints up so that that they're able to perform. Um, so, how do you do a warm up? Uh, a warm up can be any kind of Thing that is getting your muscles moving and getting your heart rate pumping. Um, even if it's a brief walk, if you do a brisk walk for two minutes using those arms, that is a nice warm up. You can, if you're at a gym, you can go on the treadmill for two minutes, and that's all you really need is just a few minutes between five and ten minutes. Um, that's a fine time for a warm up, or if you only have two minutes. To do the warm up, two minutes is good. Just make sure that it's something active. You know, you want to start moving around and using the muscles that you're going to use in your workout. So if you know that you're going to do a lot of jump rope, um, that uses your calf muscles. So you want to make sure that you're doing a little uh, alternating thing with your feet so that you can warm up those calves and get them ready so that you can jump rope your little heart out. Um, uh, yeah, and like the way that I, and, um, yeah, sorry, so you got your, your active warm-up where you're, where you're moving around, so uh, that's one part of it, is just starting pumping the heart rate up with a mild, um, cardiovascular based exercise, and then the other thing is, like, things like this. These are ballistic stretches. And these kinds of things are good because here I am, I'm moving my arms, I'm loosening up my joints, but I'm also, I'm getting a little, a little bit of a cardio activity going on. I'm pumping up my heart rate some because of the way that I'm, the way that I'm moving. Uh, like in our workout today where we warmed up, we were doing hamstring curls. This is kind of awkward on here. We we're doing hamstring curls like this. And that's a good warm up exercise because you're using your legs, you're using your arms, you're getting your body flowing. Um, so do your static, or sorry, your ballistic stretches, and then you've got your your final static stretches that you want to do um, just to finish the job. <laughs> Give them a nice little stretch and, and uh, get them ready. Like what I do with my boot campers um, at our morning workouts, and everybody starts with one minute of jumping jacks. We just do one minute of jumping jacks first, start the body going, and then we start with our um, our ballistic stretches, and we do a couple of minutes of ballistic stretches, and then we'll finish with a minute of static stretches for the muscles that we're gonna 
use that day. And then we'll get into our workout with our push-ups and our weights and um, all of the hardcore activities. And uh, just one more thing to note then, um, equally as important as the warm-up is the cool-down. It goes both ways. Um, and you can, speaking back on the heart attack issue, if you don't cool down properly and you just stop yourself in the middle of something, you can also have a heart attack. You need to slowly bring yourself back down again, just like you're slowly bringing yourself up for that high intensity workout, you also need to slowly bring yourself down. And if you are feeling a little overwhelmed from your workout, don't just stop moving because that's when bad stuff happens. You gotta walk around a little bit, keep your head up, let yourself, let your heart rate bring itself back down to normal so that, so that you don't hurt yourself. So um, that's it for today. I'm gonna sign off. Remember, do your warm-ups. They're important. You've got the three components, your um, heart rate pumping, your cardio part where you're warming up, your active, uh, ballistic stretches and then your your static stretch at the end and um, and that's it it's a nice job today don't forget to tell your friends about the happy baby workout DVD anybody with new babies out there uh, that's a fun thing for them getting lots of getting lots of good feedback from that one uh, one lady's telling me that every time she puts the DVD in her baby starts cooing starts cooing at my voice so that makes, that makes me happy that, and she's in Argentina, so that's kind of cool. Argentinian babies are, are smiling at me during the day. I'm, I'm loving that. <laughs> so happy baby workout DVD. You can go get it at happybabyworkout.com. And um, other than that, I will see you next week for another awesome workout. Have a super day.